Yes, I am. Are you interpreter or in interrupter? <laughs> <laughs> Could be both. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ready? Yeah. I'm speaking in tongues, you interpret. I will let the spirit interpret. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just teasing her. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Well, I know um, Jesus is coming very, 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 very soon. Saya tahu bahwa Tuhan Yesus datang dengan segera, sangat segera. Today I heard that Israel has attacked Iran today. Saya mendengar hari ini bahwa Israel menyerang Iran pada hari ini. And Russia has said Gog and Magog, hallelujah. He they have said if you attack Iran, we're going to get involved. Dan Rusia berkata kalau engkau menyerang Iran, kita akan ikut. I want you to realize how close we are to the coming of the Lord. Sama kita semua menyadari berapa dekat kita akan kedatangan Tuhan Yesus. Who believes Jesus is coming soon? Saya yang percaya Tuhan Yesus datang kedua. I believe pastor has been trying to wake you up, right? Saya percaya pastor sudah memberikan cara untuk bagaimana kita bisa bangun. But you know the dangers of pastors ministering Jesus is coming. Tapi bahaya dari pastor yang menceritakan tentang Tuhan Yesus kedatangan Tuhan Yesus is we become dull of hearing. Kita menjadi tidak peka, kebal. We hear Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Kita mendengar Tuhan Yesus datang, Tuhan Yesus datang. But in our heart we're not prepared truthfully. Tapi di dalam hati kita kita tidak siap. We just live in everyday life. Kita cuma menjalani kehidupan kita sehari-hari. And the Lord has told me to wake up the body of Christ. And Tuhan Yesus membicarakan pada kita saya untuk membangunkan gereja Tuhan. I believe the spirit of Elijah is saying the bridegroom is coming. Saya percaya berdoa roh Elijah mengatakan bahwa pengantin itu akan datang segera. You know who the spirit of Elijah is? Kau tahu siapa roh Elijah itu? It's the Holy Spirit. Adalah roh kudus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's saying that he's coming, but a lot of the church is still sleeping. You know the Bible says the wheat and tares grow together. When Jesus comes, he's going to separate the sheep and the goats. And some of us, we're goats. Because God does not look at the outward appearance. Karena Tuhan tidak melihat penampilan luar dari kita. He looks upon your soul, your heart. Tuhan melihat apa yang dalam batin dan dalam hatimu. And our soul, a lot of times we're living for ourselves. Dan kebiasaan banyaknya adalah batin kita hanya untuk berhidup untuk kita sendiri. A lot of times we just going doing our works. Banyakan dari kita kita hanya melakukan pekerjaan yang kita ingin lakukan. And a lot of times Jesus when he comes, yang kebanyakan pada saat Tuhan Yesus datang, he's looking for a bride. Dia mencari pengantin wanita who has prepared herself, yang sudah menyiapkan dirinya and made herself holy, dan yang menyiapkan dirinya untuk hidup kudus, pure and spotless without blemish, yang kudus dan tidak mempunyai suatu cacat pun. And the body isn't there yet. Dan gereja Tuhan tidak belum menyampai. Even though pastor is saying wake up, wake up, wake up, we just so full of darkness. Pada meskipun pastor sudah menjelaskan bangun, 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 tapi kita masih penuh dengan kegelapan. Our homes are full of TV and worldly events. Rumah kita penuh dengan TV, dengan dunia keduniaan. And you're not like you're not living like Jesus is coming tomorrow. Dan kau tidak hidup sebagaimana seakan-akan Tuhan Yesus datang besok. In the body of Christ, there's become a spirit of pride. Di dalam tubuh gereja ada roh kesombongan. A spirit of pride where it's me, myself, and I. Roh kesombongan yang kakak ini semua yang tentang aku, aku. From a narcissistic society that the world is training. Dan semuanya yang Tuhan yang dunia. We find it difficult to commit to things of God. 
Kita sulit untuk melakukan sesuatu apa yang Tuhan ingin kita lakukan. We prefer to do other things than come to church and worship God or even have Bible studies. Kita lebih pergi ke luar melakukan hal-hal yang lain daripada kita pergi ke gereja dan Bible study. We become lazy in the things of the spirit. Kita menjadi malas melakukan hal-hal yang dalam roh. And we expect pastor to do it all for us. Dan kita mengharapkan pastor untuk melakukan semuanya untuk kita. Now it's time to wake up. Sekarang waktunya untuk kita bangun. Is it speaking to you already? Apakah ini berbicara kepada saudara? Lord, lots of us we're just not ready. Banyak dari kita kita tidak siap. You know, some of us it, it, the, we turn around we're full of pride. Banyak dari kita yang kita berbalik dan kita penuh dengan kebanggaan. We resist instruction. Kita tidak menghormati instruksi. And we question the Creator. Dan kita mempertanyakan penolong kita. When God says to you, forsake a certain sin. Ketika Tuhan mengatakan untuk selama setan. We say things like, I'm not ready to leave that yet. Kita berkata saya nggak siap untuk meninggalkan semuanya itu. How dare we question the Creator? Bagaimana kita bisa mempertanyakan Tuhan? How dare we insult His name or His person? Kita meng- tidak menghormati namanya. When He says repent, when the Holy Spirit says repent, are we grieving Him or are we acting in complete obedience immediately? Ketika Tuhan mengatakan untuk kita bertobat, apakah kita benar-benar bertobat dan kita benar-benar percaya dan patuh dengan Tuhan? I want to ask you a question. Saya mau bertanya apa satu so, pertanyaan dari saudara. How holy is the holiness of God to you? Beberapa kuduskah ke- kekudusan Tuhan di dalam dirimu? How holy is He in your life? Beberapa kuduskah Tuhan di dalam kehidupanmu? That's the question he asked me. Itu pertanyaan yang Tuhan tanyakan kepada saya. How holy is my holiness? Apakah saya kudus? For without holiness no man will see God. Karena tanpa kekudusan tidak ada orang yang dapat melihat Tuhan. Without holiness no man will see God. Tanpa kekudusan tidak ada orang yang mencari Tuhan, melihat Tuhan. Where is the fear of God now? Mana rasa takut akan Tuhan sekarang? Where is the reverential fear? Mana rasa ketakutan yang penuh dengan kekaguban pada Tuhan pada Where the Holy Spirit says repent and we repent immediately. Ketika Roh Kudus berkata bertobatlah kita bertobat dengan sungguh-sungguh sesungguhnya. See we've even lost the meaning of repentance. Kita bahkan kehilangan arti dari pertobatan ini. We don't know what repentance is. Kita tidak tahu apa pertobatan itu sesungguhnya. We're just living our own life day by day, week by week and say Jesus is coming. Kita hidup sehari-hari dalam minggu ke minggu dan mengatakan Tuhan Yesus datang. I remember I had an app on my phone. Saya ingat ketika saya mempunyai aplikasi di handphone saya. And I used to download some movies free. Dan saya ingat saya suka mendownload um, Film-film secara gratis. And Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, I want you to delete that. And Roh Kudus berkata, saya mau engkau menghapus itu. I said, oh, but Lord, I want to download this Western movie, only this Western movie, and then I will delete. Dan saya berkata, oh tidak Tuhan, saya cuma mau mendownload uh, film-film Western ini. I'm, Yang lain saya delete. I'm arguing with God. No, I want to download this. He told me to delete. Tuhan Del- berkata untuk ben- hapus semuanya tapi saya just after this Tuhan. just after this one movie lord saya berkata cuma satu film ini aja tuhan and god is love tuhan itu kasih he said okay okay you know what happened sudah tahu apa yang terjadi they put the release date a year later mereka menaruh release date-nya satu tahun kemudian you know how the devil works right kau tahu bagaimana setan bekerja kan Think about that. A year later. Satu tahun kemudian. Holy Spirit said delete it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. How holy is the holiness of God to you? Berapa kuduskah kehidupan saudara? Think about that. Pikirkan tentang itu. 
Very quiet in this Pentecostal church. <laughs> Come on. Amen, Pastor David. Amen. Amen. It's convicting my soul, Pastor David. Amen. Amen. Ini menyentuh hati saya, Pastor David. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we say, oh Lord, I will do this or I will do that. Sometimes kita berkata Tuhan, aku akan melakukan hal ini, melakukan hal itu. And a lot of times, dan banyak hal, we make God, kita membuat Tuhan, our servant, seperti pembantu kita, instead of we becoming His servant. Bukannya kita yang menjadi pelayan Tuhan. We tell God what we want, not what He what He is instructing of us. Kita menanyakan Tuhan apa yang kita mau dari Tuhan. Tapi bukan apa yang Tuhan mau di dalam hidup kita. How prideful are we? Betapa sombongnya hidup kita. Wow, that is pride. Itu adalah kesombongan. Lord, do this. Lord, do. Come on. Tuhan lakukan ini, lakukan itu. Lord, answer my prayer. Do this, do that. Tuhan jawab doa ini, jawab doa itu. Go to church. Pergi ke gereja. Oh, uh, maybe next Sunday, Lord. Oh, mungkin minggu depan, Tuhan. Next Sunday comes. Oh, I'm a little bit busy this Sunday. Minggu depannya datang kita berkata saya sibuk Tuhan. Oh, one of my kids have got sick. Oh, I have to stay home. Salah satu anak saya sakit, saya harus ke rumah. We make all the excuses. Kita membuat argumen-argumen. Meanwhile, if you take your kid to church, the Holy Spirit is there. He will heal your children. Kalau engkau selalu bawa anak kamu yang sakit, Roh Kudus yang akan menyembuhkan anakmu. We make all the excuses. Kita membuat banyak-banyak excuses. Remember the parable of Jesus. Ingat dari para Tuhan Yesus. He went to the leaders. Dia datang ke pemimpin-pemimpin. Oh, I, pemimpin. I have I have to go and look at this property. Saya harus pergi untuk melihat properti ini. I have to feed my donkey. Saya harus memberi makan dong. I, ha I have this to do. I have that to do. Saya harus melakukan ini. Saya harus melakukan itu. What did Jesus say? Apa yang Tuhan Yesus katakan? Go out again. Pergi lagi. And go into the highways and byways and compel them to come in. Pergi ke jalan-jalan raya akan bawa mereka kedatang ke sini. It was the man that beat his chest in repentance. Orang yang memukul dadanya yang dengan penuh dengan pertobatan. Not the Pharisee that said, "Oh, look at me! I'm doing all these good works." Bukan Pharisee yang mengatakan, "Oh, lihatlah aku sudah melakukan banyak sekali perbuatan-perbuatan yang baik." Humility to the Creator. Kerendahan hati di hadapan Tuhan. We can't tell God what to do. Kita tidak bisa berkata pada Tuhan apa yang Tuhan harus lakukan buat kita. How dare we? Betapa sombongnya kita. Wake up. Bangun. Wake up. Bangun. What is repentance? Apa itu pertobatan? To you. Apa itu pertobatan untuk saudara-saudara? Again, how holy is the holiness of God to you? Berapa kekudusan Tuhan di dalam kehidupanmu? For without His holiness, karena tanpa kekudusan Tuhan, not our holiness, bukan kekudusan kita. His holiness, kekudusan Tuhan, no man will see God. Tidak ada satu orang yang bisa melihat Tuhan. Now you know why I said earlier I was going to say some of you are not going to make it. Maka itu saya berkata mungkin beberapa saudara tidak akan bisa mencapainya. Even though pastor is saying wake up, wake up, wake up. Meskipun pastor saudara berkata bangun, bangun, bangun. You know what Jesus said? Kau tahu apa yang Tuhan Yesus katakan? He's talking to Christians. Dia berkata kepada Kristen, orang Kristen. And he turns around and says, not all of you will go to heaven. Dan dia berkata tidak semua dari kamu yang akan pergi ke surga. You who practice lawlessness. Engkau yang yang mempraktiskan ketidakbenaran. We have no fear of God anymore. Tidak ada rasa ketakutan buat Tuhan. Where is the reverential fear of His kingdom and His name? Mana rasa ketakutan hormat atas nama Tuhan dan kerajaannya? Where is the Lord speaking and we act? Mana pada saat Tuhan Yesus datang dan kita segera bertindak? I know this. This is called shock treatment. What I'm doing. Ini dikatakan shock treatment apa yang kita lakukan ini. If you're not waking up after this shock treatment, kalau engkau tidak bangun setelah masa sesi ini, there is no hope. Tidak ada pengharapan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church. It's time. It's the season. 
Mari gereja-gereja Tuhan ini waktunya. I continually hear the bridegroom's call. Saya terus mendengar bahwa panggilan-panggilan dari Prepare pengabung. your oil, prepare your wick, prepare your lamps. Siapkan minyakmu, siapkan minyakmu, siapkan lampumu. What happened to the one that didn't prepare? What happened? Come on. Apa yang terjadi pada yang tidak menyiapkan? You see, we live in our own lives. It's no longer time to live our own lives. Ini waktunya untuk kita untuk tidak hidup untuk kita sendiri. It's time to separate ourselves and serve the master. Ini waktunya kita untuk kita benar-benar melayani Tuhan. How many of your friends are going to hell? Berapa banyak teman kita yang akan ke, ke neraka? How many of you, of the people around you, your neighbors, are going to hell? Berapa banyak dari tetangga-tetanggamu yang akan ke neraka? But we say, oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. Tapi kita katakan, oh, aku mengasihi engkau, aku mengasihi engkau. But they're going to hell. Tapi mereka pergi ke neraka. It's better you say something to them. Lebih baik kalau engkau mengatakan sesuatu pada mereka. And they reject you. Dan mereka menolak engkau. Then you don't say something. Daripada engkau tidak mengatakan Because sesuatu apapun. Because the Bible apapun. says the blood will be upon you. Karena Their blood. Kita mengatakan bahwa darah mereka akan ada di atasmu. I'm telling you, if all of you got on fire, really on fire. Saya berkata kalau engkau benar-benar berapi-api. The Holy Spirit fire would come in. I mean tangible fire. Roh Kudus itu akan benar-benar datang dalam roh-roh api yang benar-benar kelihatan. Pastor David, have you seen tangible fire? Pastor David, kau, kau pernah melihat api itu? Oh yes. Oh ya. Yeah. Goosebumps, look. I've seen the fire of God. Saya melihat api Tuhan itu. I've seen the wind of the Spirit blow through buildings Saya. as I finish ministering. Saya melihat api angin dari Roh Kudus itu yang melalui I've seen elders of the church slapping their head because they thought their hair was on fire. Saya melihat pelayan-pelayan mereka memukul-mukul kepala mereka karena mereka merasa ada api dalam kepala mereka. I've seen the working of the Holy Spirit as a wind blow upon a congregation. Saya melihat pekerjaan Roh Kudus yang seperti bergerak seperti angin. A Russian mighty wind, huge. Seperti angin Rusia yang begitu dahsyat. And heal them all. Dan menyembuhkan mereka semua. More than once. Lebih dari satu kali. More than twice. Lebih dari dua kali. More than three times. Lebih dari tiga kali. When you understand the Holy Spirit fire. Ketika engkau menyadari mengerti Roh Kudus api Roh Kudus itu. There is no more compromise. Tidak ada kompromisi. None. Tidak ada. I've been to heaven many times. Saya pernah ke surga berapa kali? Many times. Banyak kali. Talk to Jesus face to face so many times in heaven and on earth. Berkata berkata dengan Tuhan Yesus banyak kali di surga dan di bumi. The, one of the last times I, I visited heaven. Yang terakhir kali saya mengunjungi surga. You see, every time Jesus takes me there or Holy Spirit takes me there, it's always for a purpose. Setiap kali Tuhan Yesus membawa saya ke surga itu untuk adalah suatu untuk tujuan sesuatu. And the last time I visited heaven, I was very, very sad in my heart. Dan yang terakhir saya pergi ke surga saya benar-benar sedih dalam hati saya. You think I would have joy, right? Kau berkata mungkin berkata mungkin saya mendapat sukacita. I just had visited heaven, right? Saya, you think, oh yes, hallelujah. Saya baru saja mengunjungi surga, engkau berkata, berkata, oh haleluya. But I was sad. Tapi saya sedih. And I said to the Lord. Dan saya berkata pada Tuhan. For do two days I was sad. Dua hari saya sedih. And the Lord came to me. Dan Tuhan Yesus berkata pada and saya. And he said, what's wrong? Apa yang terjadi? I said to him, Lord, all these people In every church where I minister, why can you not give them an experience of going to heaven like me? I'm sad for them. Nah, saya berkata Tuhan, mengapa engkau tidak memberikan experience yang sama kepada orang-orang yang di gereja? Saya sedih untuk mereka. And do you know what he said to me? Dan kau tahu apa yang Tuhan katakan pada saya? Clear, clear, clear. Se- so dengan clear. jelas, dengan jelas sekali. He said, my son. Dia berkata anakku. I desire all my children to visit home. 
Saya menginginkan anak-anakku untuk mengunjungi. He called it home. My home. Tuhan mengatakan seperti ini rumahku. And he said, but son. Tapi anakku. Not all my children are seeking me. Tidak semua anakku mencari aku. For I'm a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. Karena aku akan memberikan hadiah untuk mereka yang mencari aku. Do you know why I have encounters and intimacy and workings of Holy Spirit? Kau tahu mengapa saya tidak mengalami pekerjaan dari Roh Kudus? Because I have decided. Because karena saya sudah mem- my life is not my own. Saya berkata bahwa hidup saya bukan untuk saya. And I have been bought with a price. Dan saya sudah dibeli dengan harga. You see, I reckon myself to be dead indeed the sin. Saya menganggap diri saya sudah mati di dalam dosa. But alive to God in Christ Jesus. Tapi saya hidup di dalam Tuhan, di dalam Tuhan Yesus. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Bukan lagi saya yang hidup, tetapi Kristus yang hidup di dalam saya. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Dan hidup saya yang saya jalani ini adalah hidup karena iman, karena Tuhan Yesus sudah memberikan hidupnya kepada saya. You see, until you completely surrender, until sampai kita semua benar-benar kita percaya berserah pada Tuhan, until you completely repent, sampai benar-benar saudara bertobat dengan sungguh-sungguh, you don't have forgiveness. Engkau tidak mempunyai pertobatan. You don't have forgiveness if you don't repent. Engkau tidak mempunyai pertobatan kalau engkau tidak benar-benar sungguh bertobat. What do you mean, Pastor? Apa yang kau katakan? Saya enggak mengerti, Pastor. Okay, let's read it in the Bible. Mari kita baca di dalam Alkitab. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have forgiveness unless there is full repentance. Engkau tidak menerima pengampunan sampai engkau benar-benar bertobat. So many of the church just does lip service. Banyak dari gereja yang cuma berkata dengan mulut mereka. Say a prayer and you're going to heaven. Mereka berdoa dan mereka berharap dan mereka bisa ke surga. But there's no repentance. Tapi tidak ada pertobatan. Are they going to heaven? Apakah mereka ke surga? No. Tidak. You see, to get to heaven, there must be repentance. Untuk ke surga harus ada pertobatan. First John 1:7. Satu Yohanes. First John one seven. Satu Yohanes ayat ketujuh. But if we walk in the light, tapi kalau kita berhidup dan berjalan dengan dalam as He is in the light, karena Tuhan adalah terang. Who is the light of the world? Siapa terang kehidupan itu? The entrance of His word brings light. So we must have obedience to the word. Kita harus mempunyai kepatuhan kepada perkataan Tuhan. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, kalau kita berjalan dalam terang sama seperti Dia berjalan dalam terang, we have fellowship, say fellowship. Kita punya fellowship with one another. Satu dengan yang lain. And the blood of Jesus. Dan darah Yesus cleanses us from all sin. Anaknya. You see, it's only as we walk in the light that the blood can cleanse you. Hanya kalau kita berjalan dalam terang maka darahnya itu bisa menyucikan kita. It's only as we obey God and walk in the truth that the blood can cleanse us. Hanya kalau kita berjalan dengan pertobatan dengan ketaatan maka kita bisa disucikan dari segala dosa kita. Amen. 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 In the book of uh, we can read so many. Okay. Let's just read Acts 5:32. Now read Acts 5:30. But God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Tapi Tuhan Allah kita yang membangkitkan Yesus dari yang mati. Whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Yang kau bunuh dengan menggantungkan dia di di atas pohon. Him God exalted to His right hand. Tuhan yang memberi kemuliaan dia dengan tangan kanannya. To be Prince and Savior. Untuk menjadi penolong kita. And give repentance. To Israel, dan untuk memberikan pertobatan pada pada si Israel, and forgiveness of sins, dan pertobatan dari dosa-dosa. You see, repentance is always first. Pertobatan adalah sesuatu yang harus terjadi dulu. Repentance is always first. Pertobatan harus terjadi dulu. Then forgiveness. Baru pengampunan dosa. 
Verse 32. Ayat And we are his witnesses to these things. Dan kita adalah saksi-saksi dari semuanya ini. And so also is the Holy Spirit. Dan juga Roh Kudus whom God has given to those who obey him. Yang Tuhan sudah berikan pada dia yang yang percaya yang melayani dia. So many of us just want to just receive Holy Spirit but there's no obedience. Banyak dari kita yang ingin menerima Roh Kudus tapi kita tidak mempunyai ketaatan. What do you think the creator God? Apa yang Saudara aku kira-kira perkatakan Tuhan Yesus? How much obedience does he require of us? Beberapa banyak ketaatan kah yang Tuhan inginkan dari diri kita? Maybe just a little or a lot. Mungkin sedikit atau banyak? I think all. Saya percaya semuanya. Right? Benar? Wake up, right? Bangun, benar? Wake up, right? Bangun, benar? How much obedience do we need to obey God? All. Beberapa pertanyaan yang Tuhan inginkan dari kita semuanya. It's it's time for this church to have revival. Waktunya dari gereja Tuhan untuk mempunyai kebangkitan. Pastor has been preaching, wake up. Pastor sudah berkhotbah mengenai bangun. Now it's time to go out and bring them in from the highways and byways. Sekarang waktunya untuk kita membawa orang-orang yang ada di luar untuk datang kepada Tuhan. And God wants to use His body, which is you. Dan Tuhan ini memakai gereja-gerejanya, yaitu saudara-saudara. So many people don't realize why they're sick. Banyak orang yang tidak menyadari mengapa mereka sakit. Do you know what the Bible says? It says when we take communion in the wrong heart attitude. Tuhan kita berkata pada saat kita menerima komunian tapi hati kita tidak benar. Sickness comes into our bodies. Penyakit itu akan datang ke dalam tubuh kita. The reason why many are, are sick and, and sleep among you or die among you. Banyak orang yang sakit dan dan tidur di antara saudara. Because we do not discern Jesus Christ and what He did on the cross. Karena kita tidak menyadari apa yang Tuhan Yesus sudah lakukan di kayu salib. When you take communion. Pada saat saudara menerima komunian, if there is full repentance, dan ada pertobatan yang sesungguhnya, healing is yours. Maka kesembuhan adalah It's hak saudara. Simple. It's simple. simple. Sederhana. Amen. 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 I see all the time, all the time. Saya melihat selalu hal ini. I see all the time miracles, 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 so many miracles. Mujizat, mujizat, dan berapa banyak sekali mujizat, mujizat. Do you, do you know why? Saudara tahu kenapa? Because we minister to the soul. Karena kita dalam melayani yang apa yang dalam hati kita. Our spirit is a new creation. Roh kita adalah yang baru. The Bible says our spirit is sealed until the day of redemption. Kita mengatakan bahwa roh kita itu disil sampai pada hari pada saat kita diselamatkan. The Bible says the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells in our spirit. The fullness of God. Kita mengatakan bahwa keseluruhan dari Tuhan itu ada di dalam kita. The Bible says the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you. Kita mengatakan bahwa roh yang sama yang bangkitkan Tuhan itu ada di dalam hidup saudara. That is your spirit when you get born again. Itu adalah roh yang pada saat saudara hidup baru lagi. He seals your spirit until the day of redemption. The Bible says. Dia yang mesil roh itu sampai pada hari keselamatan itu. But then he also says. Tapi engkau juga bisa berkata. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling, knowing the righteous judgment of God. Alkitab juga berkatakan kerjakanlah keselamatan itu dengan sungguh-sungguh. The Bible says. Alkitab mengatakan. To put on Christ. Taruhkan itu dalam Tuhan Yesus. To become like Christ. Untuk menjadi seperti Tuhan Yesus. To be Christ-like. To be sama seperti Tuhan Yesus. To change your soul into His image. Untuk merubah hati kita seperti sama seperti Tuhan Yesus. Amen. Amen. You see, our spirit is holy. Engkau tahu bahwa roh kita itu adalah kudus. But our soul has got the blotches and blemishes and spots and wrinkles. Tapi hati kita kadang banyak sekali um, noda-noda kotor. That's why our soul we put on Christ. 
Maka itu kita harus menaruh itu di dalam uh, Tuhan Yesus. We change our soul to become like him. Kita mengubahnya untuk menjadi seperti sama Tuhan seperti Tuhan Yesus. That when he appears pada saat kita Tuhan Yesus datang as he is pada saat Tuhan Yesus datang seperti dia we shall be like him. Dan kita akan menjadi sama seperti dia. Yeah. When he appears Pada saat kita muncul, are you right now not your spirit, your soul, like exactly like Jesus? Apakah pada saat ini hatimu sama seperti Tuhan Yesus? Wake up. Bangun. I can go through all the scriptures, but I know I don't have time. Saya bisa membuka banyak banyak ayat, tapi saya I'm tahu bahwa saya tidak punya waktu. Am I sharing scriptures, Pastor? Am I sharing scriptures, Pastor? Yeah, we'll go there. We'll read it. Kita akan baca. First John. Satu Yohanes. Chapter four. Pasal yang keempat. Verse seventeen. Ayat yang ke tujuh belas. Love has been perfected among us in this. Cinta itu akan sudah dikuduskan, dikomplitkan dalam kita. That we may have boldness. Supaya kita mempunyai Boldness atau kesungguhan. In the day of judgment. Pada saat hari penghakiman itu. Oh man, I got the fear of God when I stand before that throne. Saya mempunyai rasa takut untuk Tuhan pada saat itu saya berdiri di hadapan Tuhan. Amen. Amen. Because as He is. Karena pada saat Dia. So are we. Karena sama seperti dengan kita. In this world. Sama seperti di dalam dunia ini. When he appears, pada saat Tuhan Yesus muncul, for judgment, pada hari penghakiman, we are to be like him. Kita harus menjadi sama seperti dia. Spirit, roh kita, soul, jiwa kita, and body, dan tubuh kita. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to First John chapter three. Mari kita san. Verse two. Ayat yang kedua. Beloved, saudara-saudara. Now we are the children of God. Sekarang kita adalah anak-anak Tuhan. And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. Dan belum dinyatakan pada kita apa yang seperti seharusnya kita seperti. But we know when we know that when He is revealed. Tapi kita tahu pada saat Dia dinyatakan. We shall be like Him. Kita harus menjadi sama seperti Dia. For we shall see him as he is. Karena kita harus melihat dia seperti apa yang harus dia sesungguhnya. And everyone, verse three, and everyone. Dan semuanya. Who has this hope? Yang sudah berkata. In him. Di dalam dia. Purifies himself. Menguduskan dirinya. Just as he is pure. Sama seperti Tuhan adalah kudus. How pure? How pure is Jesus? Berapa murnikah Tuhan Yesus? We are to purify ourselves as He is pure. Tuhan mengatakan tu supaya kita murnikan diri kita sama seperti Dia adalah murni. How holy is the holiness of God? Berapa kuduskah kekudusan Tuhan? I think sometimes we just need to throw our TV out the door. Samtam kita mungkin perlu untuk membuang TV kita keluar dari rumah. Throw all the little computer games out the door. Buang semua Game-game dari komputer itu keluar dari rumah. And start reading our Bibles. Dan mulai membaca Alkitab. Because it's the washing of the Word. Karena ini adalah pengaruh dari dunia. And it's the washing of the Word that regenerates our soul. Dan inilah pengaruh dari dunia yang mengaruhi jiwa kita. And purifies our soul. Untuk maka kita harus membaca untuk memurnikan hati kita. To become like Jesus. Untuk menjadi sama seperti Tuhan Yesus. I can guarantee you. Saya bisa menjamin. Everyone loves Jesus. Semuanya mengasihi Tuhan Yesus. But not many are reading the Word. Tapi tidak semuanya membaca Firman-Nya. Amen, Pastor David. Wake up. Angon. Amen, Pastor David. Repent. Amen, Pastor David. Bertobat. 
It's time. Jesus is coming. If you're not ready, you're going to be left behind. Tuhan Yesus datang. Kalau engkau tidak siap, maka engkau akan ketinggalan. Did, have you noticed that the walls have been increasing all around the world? Apakah engkau tahu bahwa tembok dunia itu akan semakin banyak, semakin tebal? The restrainer who is right now restraining is lifting his hand. Restrainer itu mengangkat tangannya. Jesus is about to come. Tuhan Yesus ini akan benar-benar segera datang. Do you, Pastor, do you know what happened over in Germany or where's that where they have um the harp, the harp thing, you know, the big circular thing? Apakah engkau tahu yang terjadi di Jerman? Do you know what happened? Two ferrets, animals, ferrets, you know ferrets? Dua animal. Yeah, they came in and they ate the wires of that machine. Ani, uh, binatang ini memakan dari uh, ini, apa namanya? Uh, and they did a bayar. trial, they did a trial and they didn't know it was eaten. Mereka tidak tahu bahwa ini And it was, o- it was only meant to go 0.4 or 0.5 only. Dan ini sebenarnya harus terjadi... 0,5. When they turned the machine, it went up to 70. Ketika mereka menyalakan mesin itu, And pergi do, ke 70. Do you know what happened? Dan kau tahu apa yang terjadi? The sky, the the firmament between the spiritual realm and the natural realm. Apa yang terjadi dalam dunia roh dan dunia was semuanya. ripped apart. Ini menjadi rusak. And people saw demons, thrones, principalities, powers, and giants. Dan orang melihat banyak roh-roh di udara. It's documented. Ini didokumentasi. People even have videos or video in different things in the spiritual realm. Bahkan orang memvideo banyak hal-hal yang mereka lihat dalam uh, dunia roh. Now there's a reason why I tell you this. Dan ada alasan kenapa saya mengatakan hal ini. Because the Bible says when Jesus Christ appears, karena kita mengatakan pada Tuhan Yesus datang, the heavens angin is going to be rolled up like a scroll. Langit itu akan menjadi roll up seperti scroll, seperti scroll. In other scroll. words, there's going to be nothing between earth and the second heaven and third heaven. Tidak ada satu pembatas antara dunia bumi ini dan langit yang pertama langit yang kedua. And the whole world will see Jesus Christ coming. Dan semuanya akan melihat Tuhan Yesus datang. Do you know how many friends of mine are actually having encounters with God and seeing the marriage supper of the lamb? Saudara tahu banyak dari teman saya yang sudah melihat dari perkawinan anak domba itu. They're also seeing Jesus preparing his army. Mereka melihat bahwa Tuhan Yesus menyiapkan tentara tentaranya. But the Bible is very clear. He will separate the sheep and the goats. Nah kita berkata dengan jelas bahwa Tuhan Yesus akan memisahkan domba dan kambing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I could teach you so much in the word. There's so much wrong doctrine in the body of Christ. There's so much deception. Banyak sekali dokter-dokter yang salah di dalam gereja. Especially in end times preaching. Seperti dokter in end times. Do you know Paul's timeline? It comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 15. Kau tahu waktu dari Rasul Paulus dari Korintus? The Bible says when Jesus come back, he Christ the first fruits. Yang kita mengatakan pada saat Tuhan Yesus datang, Tuhan Yesus adalah yang pertama. Afterwards, those at His coming. Uh, yang keduanya. In other words, the rapture. Ya, itu adalah saat pengangkatan. You know what the next words are? Kau tahu apa uh, kata-kata selanjutnya? Then comes the end. Dan sudah berakhir. Then comes the end. Dan sudah berakhir. Then He explains what Dan the end is. Dan Tuhan Yesus menjelaskan apa he waktu yang terakhir itu. He explains that he's going to, that Jesus is going to give all authority back to the Father and death is destroyed. Tuhan Yesus akan memberikan semua otoritas itu kepada Bapa dan kematian itu akan dihancurkan. What did Jesus say in John chapter 14 verse 2? Apa yang Tuhan Yesus katakan dalam Yohanes 14? I will come again. Saya aku akan datang lagi. And I will receive you to myself. Dan aku akan menerima engkau that untuk saya. He is, untuk supaya di mana dia berada. There we may be also. Kita juga ada di sana. So many people want Jesus to come back to earth. Banyak orang yang menginginkan Tuhan Yesus datang untuk datang ke dunia. But Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Tapi Tuhan sama dulu sekarang sampai selama-lamanya. And his words are eternal. Dan kata-katanya adalah kata-kata eternal. And he lasting. said my kingdom is not of this world. Dan dia berkata bahwa kerajaanku bukan dari kerajaan dunia. I go to prepare a place for you. Aku datang untuk menyiapkan tempat untukmu. That where I am there you may be also. Supaya di mana aku berada engkau juga ada di sana. So much wrong doctrine. Banyak dokter doktrin dokter yang salah di gereja. I could go to third Peter and tell you how the world is going to be destroyed in fire. Aku bisa saya bisa berbicara dari Petrus bagaimana dunia akan dihancurkan. The theologians they turn around and say oh the second part of that verse after the thousand years that's when Jesus is going to destroy the world. Banyak orang yang mengatakan oh mungkin dunia akan dihancurkan setelah 1000 tahun masa but, damai. But Peter says Tapi Petrus mengatakan what manner of persons are you to be? Dia mengatakan orang seperti apakah engkau akan menjadi? Not future tense. Bukan untuk ke dalam ke, ke, ke present ke depan, tense. Tapi masa sekarang. Living in holiness and godliness. Hidup di dalam kekudusan Tuhan. The, the, that false doctrine that Jesus is coming and is ruling and reigning on earth. Doktrin yang salah mengatakan bahwa Tuhan Yesus akan datang bahwa Tuhan Yesus akan me, me, mengalami di dunia ini. It started 2000 years ago his ruling and reigning. Tuhan Yesus datang 2000 tahun yang lalu. He's ruling and reigning now. Dia sudah menjadi dari tu- Tuhan kita. And he's waiting for the body of Christ to put all things under his feet. Dan dia mem- membawa gereja-gereja Tuhan untuk supaya mem- menjadi tubuhnya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time to wake up. Waktu dari kita untuk bangun. Wake up. Bangun. I was just in Bali in Indonesia. Saya barusan datang dari Bali, Indonesia. And there was a 17-year-old boy completely deaf since birth. Dan ada seorang yang benar-benar bisu dari lahir. Just prayed. Saya doa. Father, open his ears. Saya berkata, Tuhan, bukakan telinganya. He started screaming because he could hear. Dia mulai berteriak karena dia mulai bisa mendengar. Man, we we had Over a thousand people born again while kita, we're over there. Kita melihat banyak orang ribuan orang bak dia lahir baru. There, there was one Sunday I went by myself to a church. Ada satu hari minggu ketika saya datang ke gereja. And there was over 400 miracles just in that one service. Dan ada 400 mujizat hanya dalam satu kebaktian itu. Old men that can't walk. Need carrying by people. Orang tua yang tidak bisa datang mereka dia harus digotong. Leaving, leaving their walking sticks and walking out the door. Dia pergi pulang dari gereja dia berjalan. Phenomenal miracles. Banyak sekali mujizat. Do you know what Jesus said to the Pharisees? Engkau tahu apa yang Tuhan Yesus katakan kepada Farisi? If you don't believe my words, believe the works that I do in His name. Dia berkata kalau engkau tidak percaya kata-kataku paling tidak engkau harus percaya dengan apa yang kau lihat. You see miracles are a sign of the work of the Holy Spirit. Engkau tahu bahwa mujizat itu adalah tanda pekerjaan dari Roh Kudus. To the Jew, untuk uh, orang Israel, miracles are a sign that God has visited them. Mujizat itu adalah tanda bahwa Tuhan Yesus sudah uh, datang pada mereka. And do you know many of us dan kau tahu banyak sekali dari kita. We see miracles. Kita melihat mujizat. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Wake up. Bangun. Wake up. Bangun. I know. I, I already know. Some people are receiving this, and others are just oh yeah, yeah. It's okay. Saya tahu dari banyak orang yang sudah menerima ini dan banyak orang beberapa saudara yang mungkin oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. Saya tahu. Because you don't want to awake. Karena engkau tidak mau bangun. John chapter 3 speaks about you. Yohanes. That you love the wages Masa of tiga. darkness more than the light. Karena engkau me- menyukai keduniaan lebih dari terang. Hallelujah. 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 No, wake up. Bangun. It's, it's time to repent. Ini waktunya untuk bertobat. Repentance. Pertobatan is forsaking any sin untuk menghancurkan semua dosa leaving any sin yang hidupkan dalam dosa kita preventing you to becoming just like Jesus 
Untuk supaya menyiapkan kita menjadi sama seperti Tuhan Yesus. Repentance is allowing your soul. Pertobatan itu akan membuat jiwa saudara to be transformed untuk ditransformasi to become untuk menjadi just like Jesus sama seperti Tuhan Yesus into the same image sama dengan image dari Tuhan Yesus and the same likeness sama dengan sama Tuhan Yesus of Christ in your spirit sama dengan Tuhan Yesus roh Tuhan yang sudah ada di dalam saudara that's repentance itulah pertobatan you want to see God's Holy Spirit move with signs wonders and miracles Pastor, repentance. Engkau ingin melihat kegerakan Roh Kudus dan banyak banyak mujizat. Pastor, pertobatan. Repentance is your soul becoming like Jesus. Pertobatan adalah jiwamu menjadi sama seperti Tuhan Yesus. Your soul is your mind, your will, and emotions. Jiwamu adalah keinginanmu, hatimu, dan emosimu. And your conscience. Dan kesadaranmu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, your personality. Dalam kata lain adalah personalitas saudara. Your personality is should become like the fruit of the spirit. Personalitasmu harus menjadi sama seperti di buah-buah Tuhan Yesus. Most of us are full of offense and bitterness and unforgiveness. Banyak dari kita yang penuh dengan kepahitan. You know the word of God says even as God in Christ forgave you. Alkitab mengatakan Bahkan batuan Yesus mengampuni engkau. So you almost must forgive. Supaya engkau mampu harus mengampuni yang lain. In other words, where to forgive just like Jesus or just like God. Dalam kata lain, kita harus bisa mengampuni sama seperti Tuhan Yesus mengampuni kita. But some of us are so full of hurt and wounds in our soul. Tapi banyak dari kita yang penuh dengan kelukaan hati. That we can't receive a miracle from God, or where our body is so sick that we can't receive from God. Maka kita tidak bisa menerima mujizat itu bahkan pada saat tubuh kita sakit kita tidak bisa menerima mujizat Tuhan itu. Because our soul is got blotches, blemishes, and sins. Karena jiwa kita mempunyai banyak dosa, banyak noda-noda. Do you know the Bible says sin wounds the soul? Kau tahu bahwa kita mengatakan bahwa dosa itu yang membuat kotor dalam jiwa kita. Every time you sin, you wound your soul. Setiap kali saudara berdosa, saudara mengotori jiwa saudara. Do you know that sin is also passed down generationally? Kau tahu bahwa dosa itu juga dipas dari generasi ke generasi, turun temurun. Do you know that when you sin, kau tahu pada saat kau berdosa, you open the door. Engkau membuka celah for the generational curse untuk kutuk-kutuk itu through the bloodline melalui bloodline atau generasi melalui tubuh saudara. That's why communion is so important. Maka itu komunian sangat penting sekali. Rightly dividing the body of Christ untuk menguatkan tubuh Kristus and taking communion with true remorse and repentance for the sins. Dan saat kita menerima kemunian itu dengan penuh dengan pertobatan, judgment begins at the house of God. Kepengadilan Tuhan itu mulai dari tubuh Kristus. The Scripture is very clear. It says this reason there is why you are many are sick among you and dead. Maka banyak yang berada di kita yang sakit bahkan kita mati. Because we're not judging ourselves according to Christ's holiness. Karena kita tidak melihat diri kita sebagaimana kita harus hidup kudus dalam Tuhan. Come on, church, wake up. Mari gereja Tuhan It's bangun. It's time to repent. Waktu untuk kita bisa bertobat. We can't just keep living our own lives. We must give our lives to God 100%. Kita harus memberikan hidup kita 100% kepada Tuhan. We've been bought with a price. Kita sudah dibeli dengan harga yang lunas. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which is His. Maka itu muliakan Tuhan dengan tubuhmu, dengan rohmu, dengan jiwamu. Did you notice that the scripture there in in First Corinthians chapter six? Dalam satu Korintus, it says your body and your spirit belong to God. Dikatakan bahwa tubuh kita dan roh kita itu kemuliaan Tuhan. Your spirit, your recreated spirit. Nah, roh yang sudah diperbarui di dalam we'll, saudara we'll go back to God. itu akan kembali kepada Tuhan. Your body will go to the dust. Tubuhmu akan kembali kepada tanah. Your soul is where you spend eternity. 
jiwamu itu di mana engkau akan tinggal di dalam selama lamanya. And if it's not pure, if it's not holy, dan kalau engkau tidak kudus, wake up, come on, bangun, come on, bangun. This is the truth. Inilah See, yang sesungguhnya. I'm not preaching to you sugar-coated lip service. Saya tidak berbicara dengan saudara cuma dari mulut saya. If I wanted to please the pastor, I would bring a different message. Kalau tidak saya akan berkata kepada saudara, saya akan membawa khotbah yang lain. But I want to please him. Tapi saya mau menghormati Tuhan, menyenangkan Tuhan. I know God had told me because God told me three months ago. Karena saya tahu karena Tuhan memberitahu saudara pada saya tiga bulan yang lalu. To leave this open end meeting open before I leave and go back home. Sebelum saya pulang, Tuhan berbicara pada saya untuk melakukan ini, berbicara mengenai hal ini. I knew in my spirit that God was going to do something. Saya tahu di dalam roh saya bahwa Tuhan akan melakukan sesuatu. Now what's going to happen is you've got a choice. Maka yang terjadi sekarang adalah saudara mempunyai pilihan. Either you are going to repent and change your behaviors. Satu apakah saudara mau bertobat dan mau And start living like God. Dan mulai hidup dan seperti Tuhan. And living for God. Hidup untuk Tuhan. 100%. 100%. No longer living for yourself. Tidak lagi hidup untuk saudara lagi. But giving your life to Him. Tapi memberikan hidup saudara untuk Dia. As we're meant to as born again Christians. Apa yang harus kita lakukan sama seperti untuk Tuhan tubuh Kristus. And surrendering all. Dan menyerahkan semuanya kepada Tuhan. Instead of just playing God, Christianity to God. Oh, apakah kita cuma bermain-main? Surrendering totally. Tapi kita harus menyerahkan semuanya. And saying, Jesus, I give you my life. Dan kita berkata, Tuhan, aku berikan hidupku. Or you're gonna keep it and go to hell. Atau engkau bisa memilih untuk lanjutkan kehidupan saudara dan saudara ke negara. Because how holiness is the holiness of God. Karena berapa banyak kekudusan Tuhan di dalam hidup saudara. I fear for the young generation. Saya takut mengkhawatirkan untuk anak-anak muda. You're being tempted in all different ways, every different way. Engkau sudah ditemptasi dengan beberapa banyak-banyak hal. I fear for even the young children. Saya bahkan takut untuk anak-anak muda. Everything is trying to grab their attention. Banyak hal yang untuk mem- membuat mereka untuk menarik perhatian mereka. They've never heard this message preached before. Mereka tidak pernah mendengarkan khotbah seperti ini They be- don't sebelumnya. Know what repentance is. Mereka tidak tahu apa pertobatan itu. They think repentance is just saying, "Oh, sorry, God." Mereka berpikir pertobatan itu cuma berkata, "Oh, sorry, Tuhan." And then going, Tuhan. Out, then going out and living their own life. Dan kemudian pergi dan hidup sama seperti yang lama. But what happens is every time you sin and rebel. Apa yang terjadi pada setiap kali kita berdosa dan kita menolak Tuhan? Your conscience gets seared hotter and hotter. It seared. Maka uh, konsien saudara untuk bertobat itu akan menjadi semakin tipis. And then you can't hear discernment or God saying that's not good, don't do that. Dan engkau tidak lagi bisa mendengar Uh, perka- pertanyaan perkataan Tuhan you, mengatakan oh ini you tidak benar. already know one young person he's been in an accident in a car accident. Ada satu anak muda Holy yang Holy Spirit just told me. Ada satu anak muda yang baru saja dari uh, kecelakaan mobil. Roh did Kudus he, baru saja. Die? Or just in an accident. That's because self will always gets yourself in trouble. Karena self will atau keinginan diri kita ini selalu membuat kita dalam uh, When I look at people, kalau kita melihat orang, I see things. Saya bisa melihat sesuatu. Because I allow the God's word to wash me every day, every day. Karena saya memberikan kesempatan Tuhan untuk menyuci saya hari-hari. The discernment of the Spirit becomes very real. Maka kemampuan untuk membedakan yang baik dan buruk itu benar-benar sudah menjadi nyata. And shopping center or walk around churches. Pada saat saya ke shopping center atau pergi ke gereja, I see what's in people's lives. Saya bisa melihat apa yang dalam kehidupan Nothing saudara. Nothing of myself. It's not bukan bukan karena saya. Sometimes it's a warning from God to be careful. Kadang itu um, pernya, warning dari Tuhan untuk berkata hati-hatilah. Other times it's God saying, Hey, wake up. Uh, waktu yang lain Tuhan berkata bangun. Or sometimes when I'm praying for someone. Kadang waktu saya ber, uh, berdoa untuk seseorang. Lady, lady in Indonesia she had a big tumor in her belly. Seorang perempuan di Indonesia dia punya tumor yang besar sekali di perutnya. God open my eyes. 
Tuhan buka mata saya. I saw her soul. Saya melihat jiwanya. She had a rock of bitterness in her soul. Dia mempunyai suatu batu besar kepahitan di dalam hatinya. I said, "Ma'am, I see a rock of bitterness in your soul." Dan saya katakan kepada dia, saya melihat batu besar suatu kepahitan. Dan dia mulai menangis. Crying. Dia mulai menangis. I said, "Would you like to get rid of that?" Dan saya katakan, "Apakah engkau mau saya kita kita murnahkan itu?" Stop, stop crying. Berhenti menangis. Would you like to get rid of it? Apakah engkau mau? Yes, I would. Yes. Dan dia berkata, "Ya, saya mau." We said a simple prayer. Dan kita berdoa dengan doa yang sangat simple sekali. Of repentance and forgiveness. Pertobatan dan pengampunan. The Bible says, "Confess your faults to one another that you may be healed." Kita mengatakan pada saat engkau menyatakan konfes dengan dosamu maka engkau akan diampuni. Through her confession, melalui konfesi dia pernyataan dia, and releasing it, dan dia menyelepaskannya itu. I didn't even pray; the cancer just disappeared. Saya tidak bahkan tidak berdoa untuk kansernya kanser itu tinggal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See your soul. Saudara tahu jiwa saudara. Your soul is so important. Jiwamu itu benar-benar per Penting. What about the words of their mouth? Bagaimana dengan kata-kata dari mulut kita? Out of the abundance of the soul, the mouth speaks. Dari hati kita akan keluar apa yang dari keluar dari mulut kita. Oh, most people say out of the abundance of the heart. They think it's our spirit. No, it's our soul. Dari jiwa kita, bukan dari roh kita. Because it's speaking. In other words, you're using your intellect. Karena pada saat kita per Berbicara kita menggunakan intelektsi kita, which is your soul, yaitu jiwa saudara. So you have to discern when the word of God is talking about. We have three hearts. Kita mempunyai tiga hati. We have our natural heart. Kita mempunyai natural hati natural kita. We have our spirit, which is a heart. Kita mempunyai roh yang mempunyai hati. And we have a soul, which is a heart. Kita juga mempunyai jiwa yang juga mempunyai hati. And a lot of times we can't discern when the word of God. Dan banyak waktu kita tidak bisa membedakan pada saat Tuhan berbicara. Is speaking about our spirit or our soul? Apakah itu Tuhan berbicara untuk roh kita atau berbicara untuk jiwa kita? Now start to translate the word heart in the Bible, Pastor. Dan coba saudara translasikan kata-kata hati. And start to look between the spirit, the soul, and the body, which heart it's talking about. Dan coba seorang bisa katakan mana hati dari tubuh saudara, dari spirit spirit saudara, roh saudara atau dari jiwa saudara. Amen. Amen. Because when you start to clean your soul, your inner heart, your inner man. Karena pada saat saudara mempulai membersihkan jiwa saudara, maka. And the more you clean your soul. Dan pada saat saudara mulai membersihkan jiwa saudara. The more you become like Jesus. Maka engkau akan menjadi sama seperti Tuhan Yesus. The more healing and revelation you get in your spirit, from your spirit into your mind. Maka akan banyak sekali mujizat-mujizat yang terjadi dari roh saudara sampai ke kepikiran saudara. Amen. 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 Someone. Has been having a problem with their neck here. It's the right side, right here. Who's that person? Ada seorang yang punya masalah di leher sebelah kanan. They got pain in their neck. Who's that person? Di leher. Siapa saudara? If you want a miracle, yes, ma'am, it's you. Please stand where you are. Berdiri, oh ma'am. Can someone just stand behind her, please, just to make sure she doesn't fall down? Asorang Tolong berdiri di belakang. Just, just stand. Don't touch her, but please. Tapi jangan menyentuh dia. Can you just raise your hands to God? Angkat tanganmu. In the name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. I bind. You don't pray, please. In the name of Jesus, I bind that influence right now, causing that neck problem. In the name of Jesus, I bind the arthritic spirit, the osteoporosis. In the name of Jesus, I command you right now, loose her soul, loose her body. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to say, ma'am, Jesus, I receive. Tell her. Saya mau berkangkau berkata, oh maka tangan Tuhan Yesus saya sudah menerima. Jesus, I receive. Tuhan Yesus aku menerima. Jesus, I receive. Tuhan Yesus aku menerima. Now move your neck. Coba engkau gerakan gerakan lehernya, oh ma. Move your neck. Gerakan lehernya. Move your neck. Is the pain gone? Apakah sakitnya pergi? Yes. One hundred percent or fifty percent? Seratus persen atau lima puluh persen? Yes. 
You think 100%. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The reason why, you may be seated, thank you. The reason why, Alasanya. I wanted to show you a miracle, how easy it is for Holy Spirit to heal people. Mudah sekali untuk Roh Kudus untuk menyembuhkan saudara. And also, I got word of knowledge about the sickness. Dan saya juga menerima Roh kata-kata pernyataan itu dari Roh Kudus. Someone here has been having stomach problems. They, they, maybe it's diarrhea or stomach problems. Who, who's that person? You? Who else? Anyone else apart apart from him? Anyone else having stomach problems? Stomach problems. Yeah. You? Col- colon, yeah, colon problem. Wow. Hallelujah. Stand up where you are, sir. You? Yeah. I want you to lift your hands to God. Stand behind her, please. Uh, just in case for, you know, the Holy Spirit really touch her sometimes. <laughs> Just lift your hands. Oh, your wife. Oh, you know I, I love it when people say, um, "Hello, my name is Peter. Uh, this is my wife." I say, "Hello, my wife." <laughs> They don't say their name. It's very funny. <laughs> right joke. <laughs> Hallelujah. I see Holy Spirit already operating. Lift your hands. Just say, "I receive." I receive. Lift your hands. Say, "I receive." In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name. There it is. He's touching you right now. You feel it? He's working there right now. I see it. He's working, working. Say it again. I receive. Oh, we receive, Lord. We receive. It's done. Check. Check your body. Check. It's gone. Yeah, just like that. Hallelujah. Amazing. I don't even have to touch her. Because Holy Spirit is the he- Are You are here needing. Oh, stay, 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 stay. Just stay where you are. No need to come out here. We're going to pray for you now, sir. You ready? Uh, don't touch him. Hmm. Just, just be careful if he falls down. You know, you just catch him. Are you ready, sir? Amen. So what has been happening with your stomach? Can you just... I, okay, okay. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of infirmity right now. Oh, there you are. In the name of Jesus, Go. Go, go now in Jesus. Get out of his body. This is the temple of God. How dare you? There he goes. There he goes. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Now just say, Jesus, heal all the damage in my belly right now. I receive. I receive. Holy Spirit, I receive. I receive, Holy Spirit. Now, after you've been to the toilet this time, it'll be fixed, okay? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello. What is, what is her situation? Stomach. Can you lift your hands to God? Can you place your hand on her belly, Pastor? Uh, the, put one on her back and on her belly. See, a lot of times, sometimes you have to put your hands like this between them because the anointing flows between your hands. And Pastor, I want you to say these words. So, in the name of Jesus... I command the spirit of infirmity to leave the belly now in Jesus. There he goes. In Jesus' name. Release. Now say, Jesus, heal me. Heal me. It's happening. Heal me. I, I receive. I receive. And also, you've had problems down further in her womb. I won't get you to go there, Pastor. But in the name of Jesus, I command right now all the damage that's been done to her womb, I command it to be healed. All the blood flow to stop when she's been having blood flow previously, I command, oh, there it is. Say, I receive. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Also, you've been having back problems. Release. Check your back. It's gone. In Jesus' name. Check your back. Who else has been having, uh, someone's been having an ear problem. Someone's been having an ear problem. <laughs> someone's been having an ear problem. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of grief. 
Loose hair. There it is. There it is. Okay, take a seat, ma'am. Take a seat. Take a seat. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was touching it. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay, bro. Ada saudara-saudara yang punya masalah telinga. Yeah, yeah. Who's been having a ear problem? Deafness. You, please stand. Are you? Come. Come. Put your hand in your ear. You ready? In the name of Jesus, lift your other hand to God. In the name of Jesus, I command right now, ear be open. I command all the hairs to grow back. In Jesus' name, I command all the damage to be repaired. There it is. Damage to be repaired now. In Jesus' name. Eardrum be made whole. All creative miracle. Let the angels turn around and bring... There it is. There is. Putting it in your head right now. In Jesus' name. Check your ear. Can you hear me okay now? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit better? Okay, one hundred percent. In the name of Jesus. What about now? What about now? Better? More? More? In, say, I receive my miracle now. There it is. <laughs> that was good, eh? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> more. More. More, Lord. What about now? Oh, yeah. Was that good? You want some more? <laughs> you want? Yeah, yeah. Lift your other hand to God. Ready? More. 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 More power. More electricity. In the name of Jesus. More. More. Release. Oh, that was good. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yes, let him take a seat. Yeah, come on, come on. Hallelujah. I tell you guys, it's not me. It's the Holy Spirit. Ini adalah pekerjaan roh, bukan saya, saudara. I see the Holy Spirit sometimes. He felt. Did you feel electricity? Kau merasakan ada suatu seperti electricity? Go through your body, right? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Can you, Pastor Kim? Pastor Kim. She's had some trauma from her uh, younger years. Can you just take her maybe over there and, and pray for her about trauma? Can she speak English? I can translate. Yeah, yeah, translate, please, please. Take her and translate for Pastor Kim. Because I just saw trauma from her younger years in her. And she needs to be released from that trauma, okay? And maybe a little bit of abuse too, love. There's been abuse there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. What about you younger people? Are you ready to repent fully, 100%? Huh? No one's ready to say yes. But that means I have to forsake all my friends and uh, f f other things around me. Oh, maybe, yeah. That means you have to live for Jesus. 100%. Not 50. Not lip service. <laughs> Not living your own life when you go home. Or when you're at school or in the shopping center. Not looking for the latest trend in fashion. <laughs> Not playing sports, but giving Jesus your life. Hallelujah. Oh gee, that's a temptation, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. How much do we want Jesus? How much do we want to walk in the things of the Spirit, the things of God? Come on. I really think right now when I just started, you didn't say nothing. Why didn't you say, yes, I want all of Jesus? Guys, 
Who wants all of Jesus here? Who's ready to make decisions? I mean, decisions at home. Your wife is over there, so I cannot. <laughs> really, decisions. Who wants to come home from work and no longer watch the news because all it is is bad news and start taking the Bible out and doing a Bible study with their children and, and putting God first in the home, in the house? so that healing can come to mat. I'm telling you, do you know why there's so much division? All the families, all the families, there's so much division because we're all selfish people. We're not made Christ, the love of Christ, our centre and our home. I think that speaks to a lot of people right now in this place. The Lord just telling me. It's speaking to over half of you in this place. There's, there's so much division in your extended families. You know I'm best, Pastor. It's true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who, who's got a sore back, lower back, right here? Right here. And also sciatic nerve. Yeah, please come. Sciatic nerve. What, some lady... Sciatic nerve. Who is that? Come on. It's a lady. Sciatic nerve. Who's the lady with the sciatic nerve? Sciatic nerve. Pastor, interpret sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve. It goes down your leg. The pain. Shut up, Kachapit. Who's the person? Your back sore? Now? Hey, good news. His back sore now. Because he'll know whether he's healed or not. You know, that's good news, right? I love people with pain because when they're healed, they go, oh, there's no pain. Hallelujah. Buji tuan. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands to God. I see already he's doing an operation. Just lift your hands to God and just say, I receive. I receive. I receive. Thank you, Jesus, for my miracle. A new backbone right now. New discs, new ligaments, new vertebrae, new muscles right now. I receive. I receive. I receive in Jesus' name. Now check your back. What happened? But I didn't, but I didn't touch you. Oh, new revelation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Amen. What's been going on in your life? There's been something happening. Hallelujah. As I looked at you, I caught a glimpse of the thing that's happening in your in. Where, where is that? In your home or outside? Or your children? Ah, your son. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, he's Down syndrome, huh? Is he? Cruson. Well, Father, we just ask for creative miracle right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your mercy, let your grace be poured over this family. Lord, all the trauma... All the trauma, I'm asking that you heal the mother from the trauma of the childhood, the childbirth, and all the trauma. In the, oh, there he is. Say, I receive in Jesus' name. He's taking away all the pain and all the trauma of it all right now. In the name of Jesus. That's what he wanted to do. In the name of Jesus. You feel that anointing going through your body as I'm touching you, right? Now I want you to say, I receive my miracle in my soul. I give all the pain, all the trauma, all the tears to you, Jesus. Now give me joy, overflowing, overflowing right now. Shehelabotokosha. You're never going to be the same. Thank you, Lord. You feel it gone now? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, guys, what's one of you students been having a problem with something? Which one? It's you? Which one been having a problem? Come on. As I looked there, I saw something in the spirit today. Come on, what's been going on? Yes. Hey? Stuff at work? Uh, I'll get my wife to pray for, who, now I'm not trying to be rude, is there period pain? Period pain? You suffer period pain? I will get my wife to pray with you after she's finished there and all the period of pain will never come back. I will let her do that because I'm a man, okay? It's very personal. Okay? Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, just touch this one. She's such a beautiful girl. She's such a beautiful girl. She's such a sweet girl. She's an obedient girl. Lord, touch her. Let her stay that way, Lord. Don't let the world take her off from your grasp. In the name of Jesus, Lord, keep her in your love. Keep her in your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone's been having hemorrhoids. Who's that person? Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids, come on. Don't joke, come on. It's serious. Holy Spirit revealed it. Hemorrhoids. Say what hemorrhoids is. Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid. Ada yang, ah? Hemorrhoid itu, ah? Pasil, wasil. Wah, apa? Ambien. Siapa yang ada ambien? Amben. Who's that person? Who's the person? Yes, please come. Thank you for humbling yourself. Thank you. Uh, stay right there, right there. Holy Spirit, right now. I break that spirit, that curse. In the name of Jesus, I break your power. In the name of Jesus, get off her body. In Jesus' name, now. Please, quick, 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 Someone else has got a lower back problem. You say, but, 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 but. Hallelujah, you're not finished with you yet. You're not finished. Ready, catcher? Hallelujah. Oh, there. Oh, oh. He's all over you. Just say, I receive. Right. Oh. Just take it again. I receive. receive. There it is. Holy Spirit, you're beautiful. You. Come out here. Hallelujah. Catch her. Ready? Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is starting to touch people now. Ready? Ready? Lift your hands. Oh, there he is. As soon as you lifted your hands, there he is. You have a lot of responsibility. Fill her, fill her, fill her. Jesus name, Jesus name, Jesus. Oh, there he, there, 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 there. Say, I receive, I receive. Now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus, release. There it goes. When I just said release, you felt something go out of you down that way, right? Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome, darling. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
Did you have a word of knowledge? Yeah, I did. Well, come here then. What was that? I've, well, you know when you were speaking in other tongues? Mm. You know what you say? No. There are many of you, not some, many of you, that eyes have been closed. Your ears have you shut. Your heart has gone hard because of the difficulty that you've gone through in life. But today is the day, now is the time when the Spirit of the Lord will say unto you. Saya bisa melihat banyak dari saudara-saudara yang mata saudara tertutup, telinga saudara uh, tertutup. Dan Tuhan, saudara tidak bisa menerima pernyataan-pernyataan dari Tuhan. Tapi Tuhan katakan pada hari ini. For I have sent a messenger to you. Saya sudah mengirimkan messenger kepada not saudara. Ju not just with a message. Bukan hanya untuk pernyataan-pernyataannya. But accompanied by angelic hosts. Tapi yang sudah di dilayani dari malaikat-malaikat. Uh, to open your eyes Untuk membuka mata saudara so that you may see supaya saudara bisa melihat a higher level of spiritual things apa yang terjadi di dalam roh secara roh so that you may hear the voice of the lord supaya engkau bisa mendengar suara dari Tuhan so your mouth can will begin to praise him supaya mulutmu mulai bisa memuji Tuhan because i have sent my messenger karena Tuhan sudah mengutus dari messengernya. Not only with a message, bukan hanya dengan pernyataan-pernyataan dari Tuhan. But with a demonstration of the spirit and power. Tapi juga dengan demonstrasi dari roh dan kuasa. To open your eyes. Untuk membuka dan mata saudara. To open your ears. Untuk membuka telinga saudara. To touch your heart. Untuk menyentuh hati saudara. To waken you up. Untuk membangunkan saudara. Because time is short. Karena waktu itu dekat sekali. I demand a total surrender. Saya mengingatkan saudara untuk benar-benar saudara berserah penuh. Of your soul. Jiwa saudara. Even your flesh. Bahkan tubuh saudara. Going fasting and praying. Berpuasa dan berdoalah. It's crucifying the flesh. Itu akan menyalipkan dari dosa-dosa saudara dan berdoa. And it's saying to the Lord. Dan berikanlah kepada Tuhan Yesus. I want all of you. Semua yang yang dari engkau. He's ministering now. Tuhan Yesus yang bekerja pada saat ini. The angelic host is ministering now. Roh Tuhan itu bekerja pada saat ini. Touching you. Menyentuh saudara. Waking you up. Membangunkan saudara. Time is short. Waktu tu, waktu tu singkat. Just receive. Terimalah. Amen. Amen. Ask them all to stand. Will you all stand, please? Semuanya bangkit berdiri. You're going to lead them in a prayer of repentance. Yes. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father. Bapa di surga. I surrender to you. Saya berserah kepadamu. I give you my eyes. Aku berikan mataku. I give you my heart. Aku berikan hatiku. I give you my mouth. Aku berikan mulutku. I give you my nostril. Aku berikan hidungku. I want to breathe. Aku mau ber bernafas. The atmosphere of heaven. The atmosphere dari surgawi. Breathe upon me. Untuk mulai bernafas melalui aku. I surrender to you. Aku menyerahkan semuanya kepadamu Tuhan. I repent of all my sin. Aku bertobat atas segala sesuatu. I don't want to live in sin anymore. Aku tidak mau hidup di dalam dosa lagi. Use me. Pakai aku Tuhan. Speak through me. Berbicaralah melalui aku. I give you my eyes. Aku berikan mataku. Give me eyes to see. Berikan mata untuk melihat. Give me ears to hear. Berikan aku telinga untuk mendengar. Give me an understanding heart. Berikan aku pengertian hati yang penuh pengertian. That I may do your will. Supaya aku bisa melakukan apa yang kerjaanmu Tuhan. As Jesus said. Seperti apa Tuhan Yesus katakan. Father. Bapa. Your will be done. Biarlah kehendakMu yang jadi. I surrender. Aku serahkan semuanya. Forgive me. Ampuni aku Tuhan. Have mercy on me. Ampuni aku Tuhan. Your mercy. Mercymu Tuhan. Is fresh every morning. Itu baru setiap hari ramatmu. Your mercy. Baru setiap hari. Your ramatmu baru. Is from generation to generation. Dari generasi ke generasi. Your mercy. 
Rahmatmu Tuhan is from everlasting to everlasting. Dari everlasting ke everlasting. Have mercy on me. Berikan rahmatmu Tuhan. I give you my heart. Aku berikan hatiku. Give me more grace. Berikan aku anugerah baru loh. To do your will. Untuk melakukan kehendakmu. To do what is pleasing to you. Melakukan apa yang menyenangkan hatimu. Use me. Pakai aku. To save lives. Untuk bisa menyelamatkan jiwa-jiwa. To bring healing. Untuk untuk memberikan kesembuhan. To bring restoration. Untuk memberikan restorasi. To the lost. Kepada orang-orang yang terluka. To the needy. Yang perlukan. In Jesus name. Dalam nama Yesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor. Puji Tuhan. Thank you. Silakan duduk. Baby, be seated. Saudara diberkati Tuhan. Look, this is the ministry of the Spirit. Yeah. God like open up our eyes. So, semua yang terjadi, saudara, bukan rencana saya juga. Whatever happened tonight is not because of me. Because of what I'm doing as a leader, but God already give everything. You know? So as as I mentioned before, you know, that is why we should go to camp. Why we should here, and then just only on ordinary weekend just semua hari libur biasa kok enggak easter the desire is very strong hit me you know? until anything happened and the holy spirit rinse everything from pastor rob belly from pastor lis belly and tonight you know from pastor david anderson see this is what what i said before that the lord because love you therefore wake up hmm? this message is from last year wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up because god love you the symbol god love you so thank you so much pastor pastor Perry. Pastor Liz Perry, and Pastor Joe, Pastor Kim too. We should realize they are the messenger of God who sent to us. Because as I mentioned before, everything happened. Saya nggak tahu kalau tanggal ini adalah Pastor Belly should be in Sydney. I don't know. When I book, I don't know if Pastor Belly and Pastor Liz Perry will come here. But everything, because when I, I ask the secretary here, there is no date. Just try again for this year, 2024. Only one date, 25th to 27th October. Okay, take it. After that, I just noticed, oh, 27 Pastor Robele will be in Sydney in our church. Okay, that means this is the plan of God. And that's with Pastor David and Pastor Ju, Pastor, just three days ago. Yeah. So if, for sale, especially for me, if I follow the program, the program, you know, because many church just follow the program is like this, like this. But I'm not like that. I always try to learn to hear him. So that's why as the congregation, Eunice brother and sister, we should learn. His voice. Because every one of us, we are His servant. Amen. So, just learn. Because He is alive. He is in you. That's why, know yourself. You know your identity in Christ. That's very, very important. We should move. Not by our own again. 
but by His Spirit who resides in us. It's wonderful. I think some. <laughs> I think Pastor David tomorrow so also will <laughs> will preach in the other church too, and some people also will probably tonight you know will go back to Sydney, so we will yeah we will close tonight, and okay let's stand up.